Hi guys! It's beta time. <laughs> it is April 11th? 11th. <laughs> I, I think it's the 11th today. Or maybe it's the 12th. Crap. No, it's the 12th. Yesterday was the 11th. Sorry. Today is the 12th. And right now I am about to work on a tiny little project. Um, I, this is my little friend Gigi. If that gives you any type of hint. Um, I'm working on a Kiki cosplay from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I pretty much just ordered or bought everything because everything that's part of her costume is pretty easy to find just anywhere so the only part that I was really adamant about making was the bow because I want it to be like really big and a lot of the ones I found I, I do have a red bow headband but it's like the bow is really small and I want it to be like comically large because she's a cartoon and I don't know I just think it'd be really cute if I had like a huge bow on my head so what I decided to do was I brought two little rectangles of red felt at the craft store. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. And um, they were both the same size, like about the size of a sheet of paper. And what I've done so far is I took one of them and I just kind of like accordion folded it like this. And I've just kind of left it like this for a while. It still like undoes it a little bit. But the plan is to then make little cut out a strip to wrap around the middle and just hot glue it and like hot glue the strap around this red headband that I bought and it'll eventually look like that with the big so it'll be like this and it'll be like this it'll be a big giant bow um so right now I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up and I'm I put this underneath a couple of heavy books to try to just keep it keep its shape um, and I need to figure out how big the center piece is gonna be um, I don't want it too thick because like kind of what I was showing you like if I hold it like this like just barely in the middle I kind of like how big the sides get like that whereas if it's like too wide I feel like it just looks kind of so, probably like, I don't know, we'll figure it out. So I'm just going to kind of lay this next to this other one and kind of just check out about how big I want to cut it. Um, I'm not like a pro crafter or anything, so if I do things weird or in a weird order or something, <laughs> just, just whatever, I don't care. Um, so I think I'm going to do it like maybe an inch thick, maybe, that might be too small, maybe like an inch and a half, two inches. Uh, two inches seems like a lot. That's what I'm going to say. I'm consulting Jeremy, he's being my cameraman for the moment, so that I have three hands. Mm. Hello. <laughs> um, do you think like an inch or an inch and a half would be Um, Either that or just go an inch. I think I'll just do an inch because <clears throat> I don't have a measuring tape with me right now. And usually I just go off of like how big this area of my knuckle is to like kind of guesstimate how much, how big an inch is. So I'm just going to do that. My super professional way of doing things. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to cut from the edge and just kind of cut it right here with my fancy fabric scissors. I'm just gonna cut it kind of long because I'm not positive how long I want it or how much I want it to wrap around. So, um, kind of thick. I'll cut it a little bit more. I'll just cut it like all the way and then not just cut it Okay, let's see how this That's a good 
good thickness, I think. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so now I just need to um, cut it shorter. probably so good now. I'm gonna try to do this. Um, first what I'm gonna do is I kind of want the middle bow to be like how it attaches to the headband. So I'm gonna like stick the headband underneath and hot glue that first just for a little bit of stability and then I'll wrap the other part and just have it like kind of fold over where the headband is so it doesn't show when it's like on my head. So I'm gonna glue this first. top side of the bow. Yeah, maybe just so it's a little bit more secure. But not just glued on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to rip it off. This is what happens when you don't use like precise measurements and stuff. Okay, it's coming off. Oh, 
not to do. They tell the people who use this as a tutorial, though. Make sure you center. Okay, so now that I have hot glue <coughs> on this part, I'm gonna accordion fold it the other direction so that you can't see that. <laughs> I don't give up, okay? That's my new rule. I can't give up. I keep trying. Okay, now I'm gonna make a glue line across the center line so that it's centered. with this project because I was like, this seems so freaking simple. It's only like three steps. I don't, I don't have to measure anything. I don't have to, I just can like, just throw it together and it'll be like nothing. But you see what that kind of thinking gets you? It gets you mistakes. And then you have to do it all over again. It still didn't take very long. But now I've, know, I've learned it's much better to like measure things and be certain. If you guess, you get a mess. <laughs> like, that should be my new, my new motto. I almost said logo. Okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Okay. That looks much better. Put it on. today too. The only thing I'm missing is her like satchel. So I think I might put it on and show you guys what I have so far.
um, like I said before, I'm just missing her get crossbody like messenger bag thing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do my makeup all like my eyes with my hair and stuff. But this is my room and my tiny room. And the dress I'm a big giant bow. So I really like it a lot. This is my first time putting it all together. I'm excited to wear this to Phoenix Comic Con, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me crafting and putting together my Kiki's Delivery Service costume. I'll see you all tomorrow for Veda Day 13. Bye!